Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And today we are coming at you from... Bristol, Virginia. Virginia. Not Tennessee. Not in Tennessee. We're going to hold off on that. And we've already showed you guys State Street, so we're just going to touch on that today too. Yeah. But born. this is Bristol, Virginia. Yeah, there's a lot to see and do here. Mm -hmm. and sure is. We could come here 10 times and not show it all, couldn't we? That's exactly right. Like you probably didn't even notice that this sign was right behind us. That's right. The yeah, iconic just, Bristol sign. The iconic Bristol sign. Yeah. So. Yeah, so let's get on the road, and if you guys like this video, you know what to do. Give us a yes. thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe to our channel. Yes, let's get on the road. That's right. Well, we thought we'd start off, we're better than a good old chip factory, right? I uh, know. We love our tater chips. One of our favorite things in life, so this is Shearer's. That's right. And it used to be like Moore's, though, or something different. Is it Terry's right? or Moore's? Terry's. Terry's. Yeah, that's it. Terry's. Now it's That's your right. Yep. And Bristol is so large and it's easy to split up because it's in two different sites. So that's why we're looking at Bristol for sure. Yeah, it's a bit more digestible for us. That's anyway. right, yes. So. I feel like there's a lot more to Tennessee than Virginia. I think so too, and probably on the history side too. This is yeah. a little bit easier breaking back in where i've been sick so. there you go so we'll mm -hmm. just get you back in the swing of things and then we'll try to tackle where it's all we can that's right that's right tennessee tennessee Bristol, tennessee yeah we know what you mean yeah now we did a state street one not long ago or just a couple months ago um i don't even yeah i guess it was a couple months yeah I was thinking. so we did and Blackbird Bakery is right off State Street, but there's a different Blackbird Bakery, and that was just a drive through for like coffee and donuts, yes. right? Yeah. It's a frequent place of cops. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had to take your shot at the cops, didn't you? No! Who doesn't love donuts, you know? <laughs> no, I appreciate it, man. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, there's there's a lot to Bristol, but... Um, yeah, we're at this red light here's Euclid Avenue, and that's a big one. We'll try to drive down it in a minute. Mm -hmm. but first, we'll get to State Street where we started. That's right. And work our way through. Yeah. And get a bite to eat. Well, that's the main thing, let's be honest. Do a little local shopping, right? Yes, show absolutely. Some, show some sweet spots for Bristol, Virginia. There's a lot of traffic out today. Yeah. It's getting close to Christmas. A lot uh, of people out shopping and stuff, I guess. Must be what it is. Yeah. But getting into a little bit about Bristol. Bristol is an independent city and the 2020 census population was 17,219 just for Bristol, Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course, the twin city is Bristol, Tennessee, which we talked about already. And State Street is that common denominator of Virginia and Tennessee that everybody loves. That's where the popular rhythm and roots takes place. Um, all kinds of festivals and that kind of thing. Yeah. So um, everybody loves State Street. Absolutely. It's fast, strong, well, and up here is Tokyo Japanese Steakhouse. Have you ate at this one before? I have not ate at that oh, one. Oh, I have. It used to be. It was the one to go to back in the day. Hmm. Yeah. I never have. Southern Craft Barbecue. Yes. Also, great place to eat. The Bristol Sessions Hotel, which is one of the newer ones. Yep. Boutique Hotel. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to squeeze by this truck. If you say a prayer for me. Say a prayer for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know this little Corolla. Back of my hand. Uh, now, I'm sure you do. If you look across the street there to the right, there's the guitar, but that is not in Tennessee. That's in Tennessee. <coughs> that's on the Tennessee we, we side. We can't talk about it. Yeah. Don't pretend so what it you're looking exist. at right now is the Tennessee side. So you know. Yeah, we're on Virginia. It's just a little teaser. Yeah. For the Bristol, Tennessee video. Yeah. Cast your eyes mm -hmm. off of this road. Yep. So um, Bristol, Virginia. I won't get into too much right now, but really quick, I mean named Evan Shelby first appeared in this area in 1765 and he moved his family and settled at a place called Big Camp Meat which is now Bristol and it said that the Cherokee Indians um, inhabited the area and that the Indian village was named numerous deer and buffalo met here to feast in the cane breaks I like they're just 
that was that it was called big camp meat oh, big because camp. of the the animals oh. yeah that threw me off um shelby renamed the site sapling grove which is something you see around a lot everybody gives way to the old town names they've got like sapling grove medical center oh, yeah. and that kind of thing so he um shelby named the area sapling grove now, yeah if you're watching this video don't look to the right that's tennessee yeah don't the look on the right is all we're gonna be talking keep about. it on the left yeah and boom, maybe check out what do you say cranberry lane yeah. that is a favorite of a lot of people um myself included that's like one of my mom's favorite stores oh, it's like yeah. primitive appalachia country all of this stuff well, it's an institution you're a big fan of bloom over here they just moved across we yeah could, we couldn't have talked about them a few months ago uh yeah and now they're in virginia yeah mm -hmm. and we can talk i really like bloom it's, i have not been in the new location so maybe we'll have to hit up in there too and get me a coffee it won't hurt your feelings anymore. No. You can see that smile on your face. That's right. So, all kinds of antique stores. And it seems like they're primarily almost all of them on the left, on the Virginia side. That's yeah, true. Right. Yeah. Um, I started to talk about something that's on the Tennessee side, so I'll wait. But, yeah. Another yeah. favorite store. There's also a lot of clothing stores on the left side, on the Virginia side. Yeah. Yeah. But, anyways, I'll say this too. I'll talk about history while I can. In 1774, Shelby erected a fort on a hill overlooking what's now in downtown Bristol, and it was an important stopping place for notable people such as Daniel Boone and George Rogers Clark, as well as many other pioneers. And the fort was known as Shelby Station. It was a trading post, a way station, and a stockade. Oh, cool. Mm hmm. I'm going to show this sign up here. I should have turned right there, but I didn't. Here's the famous Bristol, Virginia, Tennessee, a good place to live sign. That's right. It's been around for years and years and years. Yes, and it's especially beautiful at night when it's oh, all lit up. Yeah. You can't beat that. And, and like people joke because it says it's a good place to live. It's not a great place to live, oh, but it's yeah. a good place to live. If it fixed the landfill. If they would fix the landfill. <laughs> it would be a great yeah. place to live. Yeah. Like, until they do something with that. You know, Christmas is coming up, but also Festivus is coming up, and we've got a lot of grievances <laughs> with you, Bristol, Virginia. <laughs> Fix that landfill. <laughs> Anybody with a nose is not happy with Bristol, Virginia right now. Get it fixed. I'm yep. jealous of the reference to the Festivus. Festivus, yeah. So we're turning to the old train station. Okay. I had my senior pictures done here several meetings here for the <laughs> bank and all kinds of stuff so they've really redone it well but yeah, yeah as you might have gathered it was the, the old train station back in the good old days mm -hmm. and, um oh right there is talking about evan shelby an indian fighter settled here about 1765 named it sapling grove so it told a little Verified bit about what there. we were just talking about how funny is that okay wind it around back this way okay dokie all right, so mid 19th century, um, surveyors projected a junction of two railroad lines at the Virginia Tennessee line, and a man named Reverend James King conveyed much of his acreage to his son in law, Joseph Anderson, who laid out the original town of Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia, and began building in 1853. Um, Samuel Goodson also owned land that adjoined. The town at the northern boundary and started a development known as Goodsonville and Anderson was not able to incorporate Bristol across the state lines of Tennessee and Virginia so in 1856 Goodsonville and the original Bristol were mer merged to form Goodson Virginia incorporation for Bristol Tennessee and Goodson Virginia happened in 1856 and did you know all this no of course you didn't i was listening attentively and driving well and the virginia and tennessee railroads reached the cities in late summer of 1856 and due to the different railroad companies two depots served the city one in bristol tennessee and the other in goodson virginia but the depot was located in goodson continue to be referred to as bristol virginia so, it wasn't until 1890 that Goodson, once again, took on the name of Bristol. 
So, maybe that's why Bristol, Tennessee, we feel like has a little bit more history. Very true. Alrighty, we're about to hit up some of these businesses on State Street, but... Yeah, we, I wouldn't be able to do it today no. if not for our awesome new jacket. I know, let me show you how this works. This okay. is great. No, I'm going to show them how it works. Oh, okay, yeah. So you, you push this button. Yes. Is that yeah. right? You hold it down for like two or three <laughs> seconds, so yeah. This you're is my first time trying it. You're a rookie mistake. There okay. it is. Yeah, and that shows you that it's warming up. Mm -hmm. And once it's warmed up like mine has, because I'm Mr. Prepared today. Yes. You can actually adjust temperatures on it. And so it's got... Red, white, blue. And the blue is for lower temperature. And it's got heating things up at the neck yeah. and down the back and also at the front lower too. Yeah. So... You know me. Mm -hmm. I haven't had this thing off of me in two weeks, have I? We're almost oh. in it because I love it. I like to wear t-shirts in the winter. We're southerners. We're used to warm weather. We don't like the cold. I don't like being restricted in my stuff, so I wear a t-shirt with this and I just adjust the heat and I'm You can fine. see my breath, but I feel great. I mean, even without this on and going, it's still warm, but... Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm loving it. You know, as you know, I absolutely love this jacket, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. If you want to check one out for yourself, we got a link down here. Check it out and may even have a special price for you. If yes. You're good to us. Yeah. So anybody that needs to stay warm, I think of like little old family members that stay cold all the time and stuff. This would be so good for them. Or just like if you're like me and just hate the winter. I say, you said little old. I thought she was going to go in my direction. But little yeah. old me. Little old man. <laughs> little old man. <laughs> <laughs> like chain. I'm a creature of comfort. No, but look how stylish I look too. I know. How great is this? I do. I love it. And yeah. it's dose. And you had all kinds of people asking about it. I right? did. Every time I go in somewhere, somebody asks me about my jacket. I swear. Yeah. You'll see today. But so. The brand is dose, and check them out on the link that we have below, and I think you'll love it. Because if you don't, yes. I don't know what's wrong with you because I absolutely love I've lived in mine. You've, you've seen me in it, it every really time has. I go out. So. Yeah, it really has. Let's get in here and check these businesses. Okay. Well, we found our first stop, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Look at this big bear. No, How cute is this? What do you doing? call an ice cream burglar? A smooth criminal. But um boom. You need that rim shot in there, don't you? Yeah, and look at this little old fashioned honor. How cute is this? I oh, know, I love this thing. Kettle cooked fudge. Fresh roasted nuts. This is hopping today. It is. Let's hop in here ourselves and check it out. All right. Oh, check it out. There's ice cream, fudge, every kind of candy you could ever want. Yeah. I like a good old. All looks and smells amazing. I know. I like a good old lemon head myself. It's one of my favorites. I don't like sour stuff. Yeah. I love the chocolate. Let's go up here and get some. Let's do it. Chocolate peanut butter fudge. Oh. Well, you took the last of yours, didn't you? So I did. I didn't Tiger try butter. One. I got some chocolate walnut, though. Yeah, that's a good choice, too. Cookie They're Monster cheesecake, Cappuccino. Good choices. Cake, good choices. Man, they really are. Oh, man. I know you're excited about this one, aren't you? Oh, of course. I always love to shop. And like I said, this is a local favorite, so. Yeah, it's an institution here in State Street, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, and all of Bristol. Oh, yeah, exactly. Look at all the little snowman stuff. Oh. They always have the farm animals. It's always cute. I know you're doing this for video, but you're actually shopping, aren't you? Let's be honest here. Of course. Yeah. It's really cool stuff. They really do. A lot of primitive stuff, which is very popular with us Appalachians. Absolutely. So we got all of our patriotic stuff in this little section. How cute is that? Nice little American flag tree in it. Nice. My mom at our old house, she had an Americana room. That's neat. Nice. Yeah, like red, white, and blue. The colors are just so bright pretty. and happy anyway, you know? Much yes. less, it's America for us. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, my God, look at our truck. Oh, yeah. That's as Appalachian as you can get. That's as Appalachian as you can get. Cool booths in it. I know. Got a little something for everybody. Yeah. Of course, this is my favorite section. Oh yeah, the food. food. Yeah. Yeah, they got all kinds of like the, what is that? Pickled eggs, they got salsa, they got like hot sauce, uh, candied jalapenos, yeah. soup mixes, all kinds of good stuff. 
Well, you can't beat the service there either, can you? No, they gave us little cups of hot cider, and I love apple cider. It's so good. And Me too. I got a little Christmas gift. I can't show what it is. But Just ruin the surprise. Ruin the surprise, but by golly, somebody's in for a good one, I think. That's right. Now look at all these trees. You know what I got to say about that, don't you? What's that? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I I'll allow that. it. I like Christmas music, so all how right, cute yeah. is that? This Adds is a great. little color to Bristol, right? It does, and we're just about to go in here to the Bristol Hotel That's and check right. it out. I've heard a lot of good things about the restaurant here, so yeah. we're going to put them to the test if we can. And they actually have a rooftop bar and grill here, yeah. but it looks like we're going to be eating inside today at Vivian's table. Well, let's do it. Let's go do it. All right. So we got our food. Is that looking good or what? It is looking really good. Yeah. So tell us what you brought. There are kebabs with some sirloin steak on it. And uh, of course the fries. And what's the other? I believe it's potatoes, isn't it? No, it's the plantains. Oh, plantains. You don't even remember what you ordered. <laughs> I thought it was potatoes. Oh my gosh. And so I got the Appalachian chicken. It is chicken stuffed with spinach and wrapped in bacon. And the fries, and I got garlic kale. Good looking stuff. Oh, it's it? really good. Let's dig in. Should show the restaurant, check me. Mm, oh, definitely. It's beautiful. It is. And we come during a slow time on purpose. We did, and it's got. Yeah, exactly. We try to avoid crowds. We're pretty good at it, really, aren't we? We are. Are you ready to dig in to this yes. beautiful? So, what did we get? We got banana pudding, bread pudding. Right? Banana, banana bread, bread pudding. pudding. Yes. Yeah, we're really excited to try this, and it's got caramel on it. Look at that. Oh my goodness, what they got there. Looks so good. Mm. Is that not amazing? Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, let me dig in here. Mm -hmm. I'm right behind you. Oh man, you already took over your half, so I'll get the rest of it, right? Mm -mm. No way. Alrighty, we are. Right beside it, right across from the train station, right? Yes, the train station. My mama actually worked there, I guess, in the 80s. Really? She worked at a Chinese restaurant that was in there. I didn't know there was a Chinese restaurant. Yep, That's pretty cool. There sure was. There was different kinds of businesses. And Mumford and Sons, they jammed out there because they were here in Bristol and that's where like their dressing rooms and stuff was. So it's really cool. It is. I got a Union Jack flag from that concert. Did I know? Did awesome. You know that? Yeah. And there's the famous sign again. Mm -hmm. And we are still staying warm in our jackets. It's not right. good and hot now. It feels good. All right. Coming to you live is Shane Simmons with this is WCYB. breaking news that WCYB TV 5 is right here. Yeah. And that is Johnny Wood Plaza, which a local institution has a news anchor here. And I actually yeah, met him. He's a legend. I've yeah. met him too. Well, he complimented my shirt. I had a New England Patriots shirt back when I was a kid, and I hate them now, but I love the Patriots when I was a kid. And he, he mentioned my shirt, and I was like, I was on cloud nine because I was with a bunch of other students, like 10 years old. And, uh, <laughs> and they uh, they all mentioned, he, he just talked to me and not them. So. Yeah, well, I met him and Dave Dirt, so in your face. Ooh, you got me. <laughs> Just a look at the train station, and then in the distance, you can see the Bristol Hotel. All right, so across from WCYB is the Bristol Virginia Courthouse to your right. Yes. And we're going to come up to a series of stop signs that Shane is going to briefly pause at. Yeah, just, uh, I'll speed up the tape here. Wait, really like... stop here so we can show them. To the right is Veterans Park. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Veterans Memorial Park, I think. Yeah. Um, they do a lot of concerts and stuff there. Yeah, some really cool statues. And yeah. A great, really, memorial. They do. It really is. It's a really good memorial. And if we're so dead gum cold, we'd send Melody out to stand with these guys and sing here <laughs> on the right, too. Hey, I have a picture with them. So, yeah, I could share that for you to plaster over it and there we'll cheat. But to the left is the birthplace of country music. Yes, a museum. Mm -hmm. And they got a little gift shop. Country music was birth. That's right. And then. I came to a complete stop. And you you did. I'm so proud of you. Okay, straight ahead of us is the old post office and also Blackbird Bakery to the left. Yes. And it's usually a must stop for us, isn't it? Yeah, it's usually a must stop, but we had that bread pudding today. But that is now all post 33 it's a wedding venue and like a speakeasy in the basement it's very cool inside of there it's awesome we'll go down this road here okay pass by i guess it's michael walter mm -hmm. brewing it up there to the right yeah okay is that where we're gonna go to the no, right we're gonna keep on straight okay just trust me okay i'll trust you just this one time. Just this one time. That's all you he, need. He takes us down back roads. But there's an old factory. Is that? That's not still in. Don't 
Corporation, is it? Holston Steel Services. Holston Steel Services. Yep. And this going past Rice Terrace. Yes. The infamous Rice Terrace. Good place to find some trouble over. Looking for it? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. All of the down this way is a little bit. can be a little sketchy. Yeah. To your right is Virginia Middle School. Yeah, and we're going to be making a right here back onto Euclid. Euclid. I just say Euclid is like my least favorite word. In the dictionary. <laughs> I just this? don't like that. Euclid. I think we've had this discussion know. before. Yeah. I have. I won't say what I think it sounds like because it's just kind of gross. I think it sounds kind of gross. It like well, doesn't roll off the tongue. Don't tease everybody. No. Yeah. I think it's like another word for like bar. Euclid. Euclid. Yeah. You see what I mean? I don't know. But there's beautiful homes on Euclid. There are. There are. You just hurt their property value by 10000 per house. <laughs> No, I did not. My opinion doesn't matter that much. Five thousand? <laughs> so, which way are you taking this? Well, you wanted to see the Mary Street Bridge, right? I did, yeah. And you're going to take us to Christian Meeting or not? There's a Catholic church on the right. It's always pretty. And they have a Catholic school there, don't they? Like a little Catholic school? Yes. It's pretty neat. So, up to the left, well, actually left and right, but you can see it more prominently to the left, would be Virginia Intermont College, the defunct Virginia yes. Intermont College, where a lot of people went to school here. Yeah. I had a cousin that got a scholarship here, and she was going here when they announced they were closing. Oh, you're kidding. You talk about being mad. I'd yeah. say so, and it's a beautiful campus when they kept it up. Yeah. Which hasn't been lately. No, and there was just a shooting in the area, like, a couple of weeks ago. It's horrible. Um, They're calling it the Virginia Business College now, but... It's really sad because it is a big, beautiful campus. Oh, yeah. Um, I it's mean, not... it's sad that nothing else is being done with it. I know. See, there's like these old fountains not being used and all mm -hmm. that stuff. It's just sad. Sad, sad, sad. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to show you that because there's a lot of nostalgia about this place from people. There's a lot that went through here. Yes. Sure is. And I love these buildings, honestly. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're they're really pretty. It's sad that. Oh, and they're still know. in good shape. I mean, reasonably, mm -hmm. so you could easily make something out of this. Yeah, for another few years, you know, like who's to say how long that that's gonna last? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like yeah, something needs to be done fairly quickly, but. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some of these buildings don't even look that old. No, this ran into some financial problems, of course. <coughs> Could not get the funding, and so you know what happens. Yeah. It takes money to ride the train, even if you're a college. That's right. And now, you know what my challenge is? What? Find your favorite bridge. It's not my favorite bridge. The bridge that you just I built. actually love these houses back through here, too, because I think there's so many big, pretty houses that are just falling to ruin, and it's really sad. But again, this part of town is a little bit rough. Mary Street. You know what's down here, don't you? The Mary Street Bridge. The one that you're getting all people amped up for here. <laughs> well, it's said to be haunted, and you know how I am with anything haunted. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I feel like you overhyped it. I'm trying to. I'm putting pressure on you to for you. Just... No. But it said that you can see a woman in white on this bridge, and also that there was a man that jumped from the bridge into or onto a train and that he haunts it also. You're it's, talking about this bridge? It's straight ahead, yeah. We're, we're, this bridge that we're going to cross in just a matter of minutes. Mm -hmm. You sure yeah. you want to do this? Yeah, let's do it. I know you don't, you're not real big on bridges anyway, are you? No, I'm not. And this is one that doesn't look like it's been kept up very well, does it? Well, and you've been talking so much about it too, if it's on it. Lord. And these ghosts push the right brick out of the way or whatever. It says that it can handle like, what is that? 15 ton? 18 when, ton? When was the last time you think they checked that? I know. 18 ton. I don't believe that. Bristol Petroleum Products to the right. And the corner dog house. Yep. Great place to get a hot dog. That's what I've heard. I can imagine. Editing like we always do to the right 
is the middle school, and this time we're turning left on Euclid instead of right. You said that word again? I know you love Euclid. It. Euclid. What are your thoughts about it? Euclid. Look. I think a eucalyptus, and I think it's something. That's oh, well, about. that's good. I like yeah. eucalyptus. I'm telling you, though, like some of my favorite houses in Bristol are on Euclid Avenue. I mean, like that one that I there. I'm sure it was like, wasn't on the video, but it's like a Tudor style house. Yeah. And I love it. It's so pretty. I love Tudor houses. I like four door. Four door. Huh? Four door. I was trying to make a two door. Four door. Two door, four door joke, and it didn't work. <laughs> Moving right along. That might oh be chopped God. by that miracle of editing, too. <laughs> no, you gotta leave that in. Dork. <laughs> I'm leaving you call me names and get away with it. <laughs> oh, so we're still in Euclid, and this is mm -hmm. on the other side of this red light, is where it gets a little bit more commercial area again. Yeah. There's a Griffles. We can donate some plasma for some money. Is that what they do? Yeah. Thought about doing it. I wonder how much they pay you these days. I think it's like Christmas. 75 bucks or something. Yeah. yeah. Popeyes, McAllister's, Barberitos, Subway, Ollie's, Taco Rendo, Dollar General. It used to be a crystal. Yeah, that's gone. Food yeah. CD was back there. Um, oh, and Bristol, Virginia has a minor league baseball team. They were the Pirates. Uh, yeah, They're not anymore. Tell you this well, I mean, how I'm, old are you, though? You shut your mouth. I'm going to go on a rant here, too. Okay. Now, who's the genius that thought these shopping centers are better? That's what I was about to say. Like, you got... Yeah. Yes, like, the getting pinnacle. Getting out in the cold, walk across yes. the parking lot. If it's get, raining. Yeah. And used to, we would always go in at JCPenney, and we would just walk through the mall. You'd get you a pretzel. What's the thing, Lee? These guys are losing a bunch of just mm -hmm. window shoppers, you know, like... Yeah. How many times do you walk by the cookie, Great American Cookie Company and you have no intentions of buying? I know. You smell it or see it and you end up yes. making a purchase. Oh, not gonna walk I couldn't go in a mall without getting a pretzel. No. I miss that. But now they have these shopping centers. I'm just going to walk across. I'm going to go from Gap, three parking lots down, and go into the cookie. And I mean, you're just not going to do it. Yeah, I know. This is a terrible it idea. It makes me really sad. I haven't been up here since it's become the casino. Oh, really? I know that you've been here like three times a week. Oh, whatever. But I was sorry, too. <laughs> I went at first that way until I lost all my money. Yeah. I have to wait for every paycheck. I come and lose it then. Uh, okay. So about once every two weeks. That makes sense, I guess. 
yeah, but this is actually the most manageable I've seen yet. It's usually you can't get in here. So. And it, it's actually going to be huge, right? Yeah. Are they just adding on to the mall? Well, it's going to be a hard rock. Yeah, they are. They're gutting a bunch of it. It's like for right now, it's just Bristol Casino. Yeah. But they're making it into a hard rock. And this is just like a, oh, so. like a soft opening kind of thing, you know. So it's not a hard rock considered right now? Not yet. I mean, you're not getting the full brand of everything. There's a couple restaurants and whatnot in here. And, yeah. And it's nice. I mean. Bricked oven pizza. My only thing is they say they allow smoking in here, right, in casinos? They do. And this one's. I can't stand yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I understand that. But uh, they got a pretty small. <laughs> non-smoking section right now but i figured that'll be much 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 improved once the new thing comes through well if you don't care i'm gonna run in here for about an hour or so no way i could see you doing that though for I'd, sure I'd, if you were to just say sure I'd probably do it. <laughs> it looks really neat in there there's been a lot of controversy about the casino though i'm sure there is anytime that one yeah. may come to town um a lot of people scared it'll bring in more crime and that kind of thing yeah. that you know you have to mention that but yeah i'm hoping if it does bring crime it's organized crime because i'd like to see the mafia in bristol you know i just yeah you seem like you'd fit in good yeah but yeah it's uh, no but that's a neat place to check out for sure mm -hmm. well we're here at the virginia high school you said that so dramatically well I thought I was missing a word for a second there. I was no, no, it's Virginia High School. Like, it's the state's high school. Yes. This is the only high school in Virginia, according to people who don't know Appalachia. <laughs> no. Virginia High School. I've been here many, many times for academic events and so forth. I've been here. What is that big basketball tournament that they do every year? Oh, yeah, the Arby's Classic. But they yeah, the Arby's Classic. Well, it's done at the Viking Hall, so we haven't been here. Oh. <laughs> Well, we used to play basketball down here in big tournaments. Okay. It seemed like it was like all day thing, like Saturday, Friday and Saturday or something. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Oops. I went to I've been to many a basketball game at Virginia High up here. I went to Arby's Classic to see Mac McClung and dunked. And we got, Will got it on a... Look at you. Uh, Will got it on his uh, Snapchat story, which was very... I'm sure that that was a huge event for him. It was a huge event. <laughs> Me too. Okay. So, on the right, we got Falls Plaza. Yeah, there's Cabela's was up there, Cabela's but, was up there, but it didn't last long, unfortunately. No. That really surprises me, but yeah. it went in the same time as Bass Pro Shop. But, um, Bass, Pro Sh Bass Pro Shop bought them out, so. Oh, they did? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, and they had to keep one to the other, and of course, they're going to stay at the Pinnacle, but. Yeah. Because that's a super nice facility. I was just up there the other day. Yeah. So, Texas Roadhouse, brand spanking new. Yep, and Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, a nail salon. Lowe's is also up there. And then, same, I guess, shopping center, but down on the other end, we got an Aldi's grocery store and Hobby Lobby. Yes. I'm a frequent shopper of Hobby Lobby. You are a frequent shopper. I am. Oh, is that Freddy's Place going to? Is yeah, that what it was oh, called? I love that place. Yeah, this, unfortunately, this shopping center hasn't done as good as what was expected. Um, the Pinnacle, I think, is the big, yeah, it's, the big place. It's put people out from Johnson City, Kingsport here. Yeah, I mean, it's just a Pinnacle's huge. It is. It's a 500 pound gorilla. Me, I like going to places that are a little less crowded. Yeah. I mean, I really miss them all. I would rather go there ten to one than the Pinnacle. Oh, me too. Yeah, even though the Pinnacle really has better stores. I mean, oh, it like, does. As yeah. far as if you could have got all those quality names inside of a mall, yeah, oh yeah, it would have been something to say. Oh, absolutely. But anyways, there's Planet Fitness, Java Juice, Pizza Plus. If y'all haven't tried that California chicken pizza at Pizza Plus, that's where it's at. I've never tried that. It's good. Really? Yeah. Never... It's got chicken and ranch dressing. You're it's keeping really secrets good. from me. I did not know about that. I am not. Right. Here it was congestion. Something that I've had all winter. <laughs> so you're very familiar with it. Yeah. To the right, you can get to Food City and a really good Japanese restaurant. I don't remember what it's called. Um, I don't care either. They have Osaka. sushi. Oh, yeah. Osaka. It's really good. Helms Candy, Helms Candy Company. Gotta say, shout out 
to the CC Noodle Bar yes. on the right. It's love one of our it. favorite places. They Absolutely are so it. good. And do not get a six on the spicy scale. Yeah, the spicy is, uh, yeah. If you get above three, you're you cast might, iron stomach. Your mouth might can handle it, but that's about as far yeah. as it'll go. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll remember it the rest of the day. <laughs> and um, to the left, since we're here at the red light anyways, you can go to Sam's, Walmart, uh, was it Tractor Supply, Rural King, Olive Garden, Cookout, Taco Bell, Golden Corral, not my favorite, Office Depot, Wendy's. We got all kinds of commercial stuff up there. Yes. And to the right, be surprised you're gonna let me drive past it. There's a Starbucks. Yes, there's Starbucks, and then we passed the old movie theater. It was Tinsel Town. Now it's Legacy. Yeah, Legacy. So. Um, there's also what's that other steakhouse place? Well, Logan's. There's Logan's and there's also O Charlie's. O Charlie's. Yes. Um, Red Lobster. Um, to the right, also underneath the bypass is Cracker Barrel. There's old Kobe. Everybody yep. misses Kobe. Yeah, Japanese. Kobe, the best Japanese around. It really was. It was so good. Um, on the right up here is one of our favorite places, Chick Fil A. God bless you if you're there after noon. Or uh, anytime. I mean, I've never, well, got that thing. every now and in the morning I'll sneak in there and get in reasonable. But. Yeah. 11 is not bad if you yeah. go at an early lunch. But after that, yeah. I don't know, I went at 3 or 3.30 the other day and I was jammed up. Right. I know, it's crazy. It looks like it right now. Yeah. Um, Home Depot is also up there. To the left, we got Melon Mushroom. And coming up on the right is one of my favorite shopping centers in all of our area because they have TJ Maxx. Oh, okay, yes. That's like, my favorite. I get dragged to Target a lot. My daughter likes it. Oh, yeah. Target, Ross, yeah. PetSmart, that's where I got my cat food. And yes, we'll wrap it up here in a second. And here we're at the Sugar Holler. Sugar Holler. Sugar Holler. They can't tell me to call it Sugar Hollow. I will not do it. Nope. Will not do it. So, this end of town, this end of Bristol is more commercial district yeah, and you're stuff. back towards Abingdonish area too. Yeah, so, um, and there's also the Country Club, right? Uh, and the... Virginia. Yeah, the Virginian, and they have that big new fancy hotel. And yeah, yeah, nice one. Golf course. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at Bristol, Virginia. Yes, as always, we have enjoyed our town here. Very much so. How do you like in your jacket, by the way? I really love it. Yes, this has really helped keep me warm today. I know I said it's hot earlier, but it really keeps you, like, warm. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's like, never overbearing, no. No. It just kind of adjusts. And like yeah. you said, we're both on red right now, which means we wanted it pretty warm. But Yeah, it would be great, like, at, like, Dollywood or something oh, yeah. in the cold. I was thinking about a ball game or something, too. A ball game, We're yeah. sitting out there and you're just stale and you need something yeah. to keep you. But I love it. I know, I love it too, and I'm um, super, super, super grateful. Yeah. They sent us one. Yes, thank you, Dose. Really and if nice. you guys want to check them yes. out, again, we got a link down here, and we can get you yes. a special pricing on it and check it out. And I promise or you, you won't if, regret it. If you want a little bit of a late Christmas present yeah. that you need to send to somebody, this would make a great gift. It would be, or birthday. treat yourself because. Treat yourself, yeah. If you get you somebody else, one, yeah. If you want somebody else one, you'll want it yourself, I guarantee you. So. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. So, we hope you guys like this video. Give us a thumbs up yes. if you did. Share it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that. All right, guys, we will. See you See on down, down the road. road.